Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Charlian Forum, or if it's your first time, then welcome for the first time. Uh, my name is Chris, and today I'm just doing sort of a quick video. Again, I'm still working on my uh, Final Fantasy XI recap for Seekers of Adelin. Um, I did a poll recently on a community post um, asking if you guys would rather see that as two shorter videos or one really long video, and it seems like the consensus is one long video. Um, that has the benefit, of course, of being one video, but uh, it does mean that production time is going to take a lot longer because I'm about three quarters of the way through the recap script right now. Um, Square Enix really cranked up their cutscenes when Seekers of Adeline came out for Final Fantasy XI, and um, man, it's just a lot. It's a lot of content. Um, so bear with me. I'm working on it, and uh, I'm, hoping, I'm hoping I'll have it out sometime in the next couple weeks. Um, but for now, I wanted to do just a quick video today sort of talking about um, Summoner um, and sort of continuing this conversation of where jobs are at right now, um, what we think of them, where they should go, where we think they can go. Um, and Summoner is one that comes up a lot. Uh, you know, I did a video on Dark Knight recently um, talking about kind of what I thought about that job and where that job is at and what changes it needs to make. Um, and I think that Summoner is in an interesting place uh, because Summoner is simultaneously, I think, one of the least satisfying jobs in the game, but also one of the most interesting, uh, or at least one of the most, it has the most potential of almost any job in the game. Um, so let's let's jump in here and let's talk about it. Um, so current Summoner, I think the, the design philosophy is to create a job that's as approachable as possible. Um, and I think that that's a good thing. I think that we need something like that in the game, in every role. Um, I think that Viper sort of fills that for uh, melee DPS, where Viper is pretty easy to pick up, but it has a lot of nuance that you can kind of learn to optimize in fights and master, and Summoner is very similar. It's very easy to pick up. The rotation is very simple, um, but there's a lot of little things that you can do to optimize that sort of set you apart from a Summoner who just picked the job up for the first time, right? So... Obviously, the basics with Summoner have not changed since they got their big rework. Um, you know, you cast your summon, you have your big spells, um, and you cycle through them where you're casting, uh, you know, you have your Solar Bahamut now is your first uh, Demi, and then you have your uh, Titan, Titan, Garuda, and Ifrit. You cycle through those, and then you'll go on to uh, your other Demi's, Bahamut, and then Phoenix, right? Um, but that's it. That, that's pretty much the entire job. Um, so it's not exactly the most exciting. Um, the rotation is very rigid. It's very set. Um, and again, there's like some small optimizations on fights where like, you know, Ifrit has this, um, this gap closer with a melee attack as its secondary um, and it also has a long cast as its primary spell. Um, so this is something that you have to think about where like if a phase of a fight is going to involve a lot of movement, hitting efforts not going to be very advantageous, right? You're going to have a, you're going to struggle to get those spells out. Whereas if you're playing like Titan where everything is instant, it's going to be a lot easier to get those spells out. Um, so I think there's some interesting interplay there with the different summons, but unfortunately, that's that's it. That's all the optimization there is, other than, you know, again, just like random, like when do you use Ruin 4, but really you just use it when you can. Um, you know, Energy Drain and Necrotize, uh, you just hit this on cooldown pretty much, and Necrotize not in your primals. Um, so it's like, you know, there's not a whole lot going on. Um, it's a relatively basic job, which I think is fine, because we need something approachable, but it kind of leads to this conversation of what could Summoner be? Um, you know, when we look at previous Final Fantasy games, um, you know, a lot of people like to compare 14 with 11, and I think that there's a good reason. Um, Summoner and 11 not only had a lot more options, but they also had a lot more capabilities. So, so just as an example, this is a list of all of the summon spells that Summoner had access to. In Final Fantasy XI. Um, now, this 
the way that 11 works is obviously a lot different than 14. It's almost impossible to compare them directly, but each of these had a list of commands on the right. Um, and similar to how Summoner in 14 works, you basically had each summon had sort of a basic attack that you would just hit assault and they would go in and they would start their basic attack. They had a blood packed rage that was some kind of powerful attack that the summon would activate. Um, and then you had a blood packed ward, which was usually some kind of defensive. And then you had Avatar's favor, which was like a big buff. And um, each each uh, avatar had a different buff that would be granted by summoner's favor um, or avatar's favor, excuse me. So like Carbuncle's favor would give you your entire party a big region. Um, if it's favor gave everybody double attack, which basically meant that, you know, it would increase your chance by 12% according to this here, um, that every time you swung your weapon and, and 11, you would just swing it twice instead, which was huge. Um, you know, Shiva gave a big magic attack boost. Garuda gave an evasion boost. Titan gave a defense boost. Um, and I remember uh, Leviathan had a ability that gave everybody a refresh, which meant your MP was constantly refreshing. Um, so that's probably in here in the uh, in the ward. Yeah, spring water. There it is. Um, so the the summons had this really interesting system where you had all of these different abilities that could be baked in. And when you called them out, you would hit this button and get all of this value instantly, right? Um, now, translating that to 14, I think, is basically impossible. This The game doesn't work the way that 11 does. It, the combat is completely different fundamentally. Um, but I think that a really interesting way that you can make Summoner more potent and more powerful, or even just a way to add some flair to their gameplay, would be, number one, we need to switch to a system where we have a, a different rotation than just the same three primals. Um, and this is something that people have been talking about and kind of expecting for a while. Um, I, I'm going to be honest, I don't really understand why it hasn't changed yet. Okay, so uh, excuse my terrible MS Paint drawing skills with a mouse, but this is sort of the general flow of Summoner as it stands right now. So we have, uh, you know, the gray is our Solar Bahamut, and then we do our Ifrit Garuda Titan, Bahamut, Ifrit Garuda Titan, Solar Bahamut again, Ifrit Garuda Titan, Phoenix, Ifrit Garuda uh, Titan, and then it just loops back to the beginning. Um, and I mean, this is, this is the whole loop of Summoner right here. This is it. Um, that's, that's all there is. There's no nuance. There's no maximizing that. It's just, this is what it is. Um, like I said, there's little tiny things you can do in these pockets here. Um, that sort of can help you optimize for movement or for things like that, but that's it. Other than that, you just hit your cooldowns when they come up and that's, that's all. Um, and I think that, again, you know, a Summoner is simple, that's good, we need a simple caster, but I think that this loop is so dreadfully boring for anybody who has played this game for long enough to understand the basics of combat, right? Um, and so, what what could we do to change this? I feel like that character and it's always sunny with the fucking board. Okay, so, here's sort of where my head's at with how we can make Summoner work a little bit better. So. Fundamentally, I think that the, the least interesting part of Summoner is the summons themselves, right? I don't necessarily have a problem with the Demis. Um, I think that Solar Bahamut is lame, but whatever. Um, Bahamut and Phoenix are cool. I have no problem with them. I think the issue comes from these moments right here. Where I think we could change that is by looking at the game's own lore, right? Now, weirdly enough, they made the choice when we look at this chart you know we kind of have these triangle sort of poles uh, these triads of elements that exist in the final fantasy universe where elements across from each other are like diametrically opposed right so like wind and earth are opposed lightning and ice are opposed fire and water are opposed um but what's weird is that they sort of picked a a close uh, triangle a little bit more of a 
isosceles and an equilateral when they were deciding which elements that summoner would tap into. Um, and I think that the easiest answer is to just give us the other triangle, right? Um, you could even sort of do like a umbral astral flip where, uh, you know, Bahamut is a astral summon um, and Phoenix is an umbral summon. So this idea that when you cast Solar Bahamut, it's sort of a pure manifestation of unaspected ether, I think would be a cool way to justify it or a, a conglomeration of all six, maybe, um, where it's a perfect balance thing. Um, so I think that what would probably be cool is if when we left Summoning Bahamut, we got an astral ether pip or, or you know, whatever we want to call it. And then when we left Summoning Phoenix, we got an umbral ether pip. And those different buffs would allow us to change which summons were coming out next. So by sort of creating a parity between the three current summons with Leviathan, Rama, and Shiva, the other three elements that we have present here, um, we can sort of mimic them in a way, but give them something different. So, you know, Titan is all instant casts. It has a swift cast sort of thing where you're hitting one and then hitting two immediately after as an OGCD. So you have this sort of back and forth popping. Um, I think that Leviathan would be a great fit to change that. Whereas um, instead of doing instant, it's a shorter cast. Having a short cast is something that I think would be interesting because it's different, right? Garuda has the really long cast bubble. If it has the long casts, there's nothing in summoner's kit that's like a regular GCD cast right now in the summons. Um, and I think that that's really weird. I think that that's a strange thing to not have. So having Leviathan just have like normal casts, like two seconds, uh, maybe even like a slightly lower, like one and a half second cast um, would be really interesting and a cool way to shake it up and give him sort of like Titan has where you have this off, um, but instead of it being an off attack, maybe it's like you hit his attack three or four times in a row and then you can hit his second ability and it restores MP based on how many times you hit the first one or something. Um, you know, maybe make it a timer instead of a, a number of stacks like we get from the other summons. So you have this interplay between how much do I try to restore, but also how much am I willing to risk? And like, if the boss disappears, then I lose it. That's sort of an interesting way to optimize that, that summon. Um, that's just not present right now. Um, Rama, I think, needs to basically mirror Garuda, um, instant casts, Judgment Bolt, that type of thing. And then you have a big AoE dot that, you know, you can just drop and it deals a bunch of damage and then it has a dot that lingers. I think that that's very thematic. Um, it sort of also connects back to Black Mage's kit a little bit with their Thunder spells. So it's this creating this sort of parody that I think makes a lot of sense. Um, Shiva, I think, should be the long cast version, um, super long cast, sort of like Ifrit is now. And instead of having a gap closer with a melee combo, I think that Shiva would be a really good place to have movement where we have sort of an en avant style dash. Um, this is basically like this is super heavily inspired in my head by um, like Final Fantasy 16, where Shiva has that ice glide ability that you can use. Um, I think that that would be a really fun mechanic that Summoner just doesn't have. Pretty much their only movement right now is Garuda, or um, is Ifrit Dash, Ifrit's Gap Closer, and uh, having something that they could use to go wherever they want, I think would give them a ton of flexibility, and it would make it really interesting to explore how these par parts of the kit fit together. Um, so yeah, I mean, we're not trying to break the mold here. And I, like I said, I think that Summoner is, is good being the simple caster where you don't have to think super hard about the rotation, but giving the ability for experienced players to sort of mess with this order and sort of decide how they want to do this and when things are gonna be the most beneficial, I think is really important. Um, and to that end, I think that this order should not necessarily be enforced. I think that you should be able to do this in either order. 
Um, I think that Summon Bahamut and Summon Phoenix should probably be separate buttons. And when you come out of Solar Bahamut, you just get a ether stack that you can use to summon either one. Um, you know, maybe you could even lean into this idea of one of them being more support focused, um, which I guess I kind of have done here with movement and a refresh. Um, and, you know, Phoenix has the refresh or the, uh, the, the regen rather on a target. Um, and Bahamut is sort of more offensive. He does a lot more damage. His summons could be a lot more offensively based because none of these have a utility ability. Um, so this is something that I think would add a lot of flavor to summoner. It would add a lot of variability to summoner and it would add a lot of skill expression to summoner, which is what I think that most players argue is the issue with summoner right now is that it's not necessarily that it's like bad. It doesn't play poorly. It's actually super fun but it just gets kind of boring after you play it for a while. Um, there's just not enough variety. And I think that doing something like this, where you have this ability to switch back and forth between these two whenever you'd like to, and then solar sort of just serves as like a post where, you know, okay, in between these two posts, you are going to cast one Demi, whether it's Phoenix and or Bahamut, and you're going to cast all six of these summons. The order that that happens in is up to you. Um, and I think that would be really cool. And and you could even change this slightly. You know, I'm sure my drawing is getting really out of hand here, but um, you, know, you could change this where instead of solar being here, Phoenix moves here and then solar gets moved to this spot. And so you have this sort of system where instead of having this uh, back and forth where solar is serving as a post between each and every summoning. What you get is you get a solar at the open and a solar at the close. You know, so you have your two post marks here and then this middle section, basically the way that this happens is completely up to you. You can summon, um, you know, Bahamut right away. You can hammer out the three regular primals and then summon Phoenix. You can summon Phoenix first and the hammer out. Um, the only issue I could see this causing is that that would make this section basically required to be deleted, um, which could mess with buff alignment. Um, you know, the, the, the window, the two minute window, uh, that we have so graciously accepted. Um, I think that that's a small price to pay though to have things misaligned slightly um, because I think that this would be a lot more interesting, right? Um, the obvious alternative to that is to change how the Demi summons work, period. Um, you know, that would obviously be slightly more complicated, but, you know, the, the root of it is, basically, Summoner, I think, should function where you have... A postmark summon, a demi summon, and then you cast three small summons. Then you have a demi summon, you have three small summons, and then at the end of this, there should be something big that happens. So this is sort of a, a builder payoff, a, a builder spender. The order that this happens in, I think, should be completely payer, player express. Um, this being forced to function and, and occur in a certain order, I think is just not very interesting. Um, it's not very good design. It's exceptionally boring. It makes it simpler, but I think that having this window be up to the player, how it plays out, whether they want to do Bahamut first and then the three uh, current uh, element, uh, per holy hell, the three current avatars and then uh, you know Phoenix and then the three new ones, or if they want to do Phoenix first. Um, this, I think, if Summoner ever wants to be more interesting than it is now, is required to be completely up to the player how this happens. Um, and then, you know, maybe Solar happens in here, and then you repeat this again. And once you've done it twice, then I think you should get a big payoff um, and I think that there's two interesting ways to do that payoff. There is 
a possibility where you just summon solar again and it's like really big or powerful or something. Or there's a possibility where we lean into this primal slinging summoner and we have a new demi that only happens after you've cycled this twice. Um, I think the obvious choices for this are Odin um, or Alexander. Um, I think that, whoop, sorry about that. I think that uh, these two offer really cool abilities, and even if you didn't want to give a full summon to them with full abilities, just being able to, like, after we go through this process twice, I can hit Zantetsuken, you know? And, like, Odin comes in, and he just does one big, huge hit, and then he disappears, and that's all it was, and I go back to what I was doing. Um, I think that that would be so cool, right? And then Alexander could be like a huge party buff, um, a massive defensive or something like that. Um, you know, this would be a really cool way to give Summoner a lot of expression without necessarily making it more complex. And, you know, how do you decide which one of these you're going to summon? I think that the easiest answer there is basically to do a red mage thing where depending on which one you end on here, you'll summon a different one. Um, so there's some player choice where you have to you have to choose which one you're going to summon before you get to that point. Um, where at, like, so let's say, you know, we have Bahamut first, and then we have Phoenix. Um, and like, if I do that again, then I'm going to summon Alexander, right? Because I'm ending on a light aspected uh, primal. Whereas if I do... Phoenix first, and then Bahamut, I would summon Odin because it's the other way around, or, or however you want to work that, right? Um, I think that the main thing, though, is, is just choice. Um, giving players agency on Summoner, I think, is what it's lacking. I think right now it's so rigid and so solidified that it just starts to get so boring. Um, and longtime players are just not interested in it right? Um, or if they are, it's because they, they want to have a, a very simple job. They want that. And that's fine. You know, Summoner can be simple, but still have some interesting pieces. Simple does not necessarily mean boring, um, is what I think that is the big miscommunication here with Summoner. Um, you know, this, this, having, this being able to occur in any order that you want does not make the job any more complex, right? Because at the end of the day, it's the same thing. You're still <laughs> you're still doing the same process, but giving people the option will create some more agency. It it creates some emergent gameplay for the player, um, and it just gives you a little bit more intrigue. Um, and that's what I think that Summoner is missing right now is just something that's a little bit more interesting. Um, so yeah, I mean that's my thoughts. Um, yeah. I, definitely yapped in this video so i apologize for that but i think that summoner has a huge potential to be something really special in this game um and man i just i hope that they do something something in 8.0 it's it's desperately needed um i think if summoner does another expansion where it it just has the same cycle and maybe they get a new summon like a new demi or something like solar bahamut they got this time it's gonna be so disappointing um you know it was already really disappointing in dawn trail to see that all they got was solar bahamut really um just super super disappointing um uh, because summoner is so cool like conceptually um and man it, it just feels like uh it feels like a serious wayside throw to uh, not give them something more interesting. So yeah, that's that's my thoughts. Um, let me know what you think down below, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Hopefully I'll have that uh, Final Fantasy XI recap for Seekers of Adeline out soon. Um, I'm going on vacation this week, so I'm hoping I'll work on it a little bit in between uh, dinners and drinks. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what I got for today. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for checking it out. Bye.